Do you have something inspiring to say? Have you always known that your voice can contribute to the world? Is now the time? Yes, now is the time. The world is waiting for you. Welcome to the Inspired Choices Network Open Mic Spotlight Show. Today, we have an inspiring guest who is ready to share their voice with the world. Now, on to the show. Wow, here we are Monday morning and we have another amazing guest that we are sharing with the world. This individual is someone who's very special, very close to me and somebody I get to interact with nearly every single day, yet we've only met in person once and... <laughs> Oh, here she giggles. And I know a lot about her, and I'm so excited to learn even more. The wonderful guest I have with me today is Keisha Clark. Keisha, welcome to the show. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to dive into all things Keisha, but I'm going to give you the formal bio of Keisha, and then we're going to see where this takes us. So Keisha is a happily unconventional empowerment agent who blends her capacities in the intuitive and healing modalities in divination arts to facilitate her clients and students into greater awareness, clarity, and confidence. She speaks to all the energies having to do with changing what you desire to change, people, animals, elements, places, and things. Keisha brings her relentless curiosity, her potent kindness, and her willingness to put every topic on the table for discussion, and she offers it to you with no judgment and no expectation of you, and lots and lots of giggles. She will challenge you to shift your perspectives and shatter your limitations. Keisha draws from her experiences as a performing art artist, her 20-plus years in the healing arts, multiple healing modalities, her intuitive and psychic capacity, Wow, I need more coffee. Hang on. Capabilities and her love of all things body and magic to craft her sessions and classes. She is well acquainted with the insanity of trying to fit in and be accepted by standards that don't apply. And she also knows the freedom of choosing beyond that insanity. Inspiring more people to their own freedom is what Keisha loves to do. She also loves variety. Some other goodies in her bag are being an inspirational speaker, author, radio show host here on the Inspired Choices Network, and a producer <laughs> with the Inspired Choices Network. You can connect with Keisha at Keisha, that's spelled K-E-I-S-H-A, at livingbeyondlinear.com. Welcome, Madam Keisha. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Christine. It's <laughs> <This is> delightful <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we <laughs> dance a lot of dances together, and this most definitely is a we new do. song. I love it. Yes. One of, you have been on the radio now for just over two years, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, December was my two-year no, mark. Uh, it was December, December of 2014. Uh -huh. So Keisha and I met, I believe it was June of 2014 that in year. Denver, Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I had no idea who this woman was, and I had no idea the, the contribution, the impact, the presence she was going to be in my life and uh, for all of my creations. And ba-boom, here she is, most definitely creating huge time. Now, wow, a couple thank of the you. Things, I'm so glad that we met. Thank you to Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, that was a big one. <laughs> it, it, it really was a big one. Um, Keisha, another thing that I know about you is you absolutely love animals, and one of your most <laughs> favorite animals are cats. And you have a beautiful co-creator, Miss Lily. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> and she is with you all of the time. If I was to ask Miss Lily this question, what would she <laughs> say? What is inspiration to Keisha? <laughs> she would probably look at you with this sort of sarcastic kind of uh, expression and she would say everything. <laughs> she she lives with me. She hears me talking out loud quite a bit, <laughs> talking to all of the elements. And um, she sees me in my being silly mode as well as my everything else mode. So... <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, it, it 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 doesn't take a whole lot to inspire me or excite me. Um, and it's really this, um, oh gosh, it's like there's an energy there um, that I love tapping into. And, and really, if I could, if I gave it a word, it would be the energy of creation is very inspiring to me. Um, I... I absolutely love um, that that about us, that we get to create, that we get to change things, and that we are this energy that can change things, um, as well as the fact that we can change. So all of that is where I find a great deal of inspiration. <laughs> so tell me, Keisha, what's inspiring to you about you? Ooh, about me. Mm-hmm. Wow. I love that. Um, it's, you know, that I'm, that I'm choosing this, that like, that I'm not playing safe anymore, that I'm not trying to pretend that I'm anything else than who and what I am right here, right now. Um, and then I'm actually letting myself have this. And really, it's letting myself have me. Hmm. And and within that, there is this really yummy, juicy oh, kind of uh, <laughs> energy <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, Keisha, for everyone that doesn't know um, all about Keisha, let's let's go back to the beginning of, of Keisha Clark. So where where were you where were you born where where were you raised? <laughs> I was actually born in uh, well this is how I say it I was conceived in California <laughs> my body started that. in California and I was born in Texas so I have a really interesting mix of energies <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up in uh, in the Pasadena Texas area Pasadena Houston area for anybody who doesn't know Pasadena is not far from Houston. And um, it was kind of funny, uh, the body that I chose, the features that I came in with, you know, are, are not um, your typical sort of American-looking features. <laughs> I don't, it, was, it wasn't until my 30s, uh, and I've, I think I've, I might have shared this story before, but um, it wasn't until like my early 30s that um, – it dawned on me that I actually grew up in a neighborhood that was heavily uh, populated with uh, Ku Klux Klan members. And um, I don't remember I was, ever hearing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I show up in the world with very curly hair and very big puppy doodle blue eyes and very light skin, <laughs> very pronounced lips and hips. And I land in KKK territory. <laughs> And it was an Hello. interesting experience. <laughs> yeah. It was a very interesting experience. I I was on the receiving end of uh some very uh in many cases unkind um unkindnesses and um and I when I it, the moment that I became aware like the moment that I connected the two things cuz when I was a kid we would drive this along this particular road there was this building and I always looked at this sign at this building and was just amazed because it had the word Grand Dragon on it. And I thought, oh, how fun, a dragon, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was a kid. And um, later, in, you know, like I said, it was in my 30s, early 30s, I was somewhere and it like dawned on me like what that actually meant. And it, what the sign was, was the you know marquee for the place where they met and it it was a part of that sign was naming you know sa 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 the grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan and and it was just weird when I realized what that actually meant I was like well no wonder people were so grumpy and pissed off (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and that wasn't the whole city. That was not the whole city. It was people who were choosing to be that at the time. So it, it wasn't like the whole city was that way. But it was so, it, it like opened up so much lightness in my world when I just realized, you know, oh, we were living in a place where there were some people who were very invested 
in you know some very particular points of view. <laughs> no right. wonder I would. <laughs> so, so that I it was interesting to grow up in that and um, and 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 have the the experiences that I had. Thankfully, there was never I never had any physical violence. Um, that I dealt with, or you know, my family was never on the receiving end of of some of the extremes that we see in some of the movies and that we hear about. Right. Um, but there was a there was a very um, gosh, school was interesting. Elementary school was incredibly interesting for me um, in uh, because I did not look like any of the other kids. So. So growing up there, it gave me uh, a lot of insight, and um, I I I know that that's part of what shaped who I am and who I have become. Um, and these days, I allow that to to really like that moment that I had that awareness. It, it op- It was a beginning of allowing all of those things that had not been fun and pleasant to experience. Um, right. It was as though the gift of all of that was able to come through, and I, and I had the awareness that oh, it didn't have power over me, and wow, look what I chose, and wow, look what got created. So, so how old um, were you? How old were you at that time, Keisha? When I had that awareness? Yes. Yeah, I was. Um, I was. I was either thirty or thirty-one or thirty-two. It was somewhere in there. So when you were a child. So, you didn't know at all that you were like at any time you didn't know you were in that area. I didn't realize what that meant. Like I was okay. called lots of names, you know, um, and and I just I just couldn't like where the the way that I tried to mm, function with it was I was always trying to figure out why they were so you know unkind, why they didn't like me, and so of course that set me on a course of trying to do things to get people to like me. I know nobody else has probably ever done that. Um, no, 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 no. Certainly nobody else on the line, for sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, it, and I just started laughing. Like, the moment I just remember that I, I was, it, it was like, oh, wait, and the bell rang, you know, in my head. Yeah. And I was just like, whoa, and I just cracked up. I'm like, well, no wonder. <laughs> I'm so glad you like cracked up. Ball. <laughs> I'm so glad you cracked up because a lot of people would have gone further into the wrongness of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like how could you have not known that, and and you know all right. of the rest of that. <laughs> so, what, how long did you live in that area? Oh gosh, I grew up there. Um, and it it by the time I was in middle school, like junior high. Uh, or I guess it was called intermediate in those days, <laughs> like, the, you know, the seventh and eighth grade. Um, okay. The demographics were drastically changing of that area. So okay. uh, it it was still there. It just sort of went, you know, more behind closed doors and underground kind of, you know. Um, right. Uh, so, so would you say that living yeah. in that area it, uh, uh, among all of that, had you hyper aware? I could, yeah, I could say that, yeah. Because yeah. I, I mean, you didn't know what was going on, but I'm sure that there was these energies that had you really, oh. you know, your hair standing on yeah. end. Um, yeah. Wow, what an interesting way to be introduced to energies through such an intensity um, yeah. of, of a of a time, well, that's still going on today in some areas, too, oh, but yeah, uh, we're seeing. that's another mm-hmm. conversation. <laughs> Anyways, we now, are I going was, to take... Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, we can, we can do it after the break. <laughs> well, we are going to take our first break, um, and we're going to digest what <laughs> Miss Keisha, and it's just interesting, I'm kind of looking at, imagining what that was like for you, and then seeing you today, I'm like, Wow. What like lifetimes of transitions in 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 a few short years, Keisha? <laughs> Holy moly! Okay, we are we are talking to Miss Keisha Clark. Um, Keisha has her own radio show, as we talked about, living beyond linear here on the Inspired Choices Network. 
station so you can always check her out there and we will be checking out more about her right after this break stay tuned everyone you're listening to open mic on inspired choices network we'll be right back do you have something inspiring to say would you like a taste of being one of our inspired hosts get on the air on the inspired choices network open mic spotlight show The Open Mic Spotlight Show is your time to shine and inspire our global audience. Shows air at 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday each week. Claim your spot today. Simply contact our network owner at info at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Forget the days of five minutes of fame. Now you can have 55 minutes of fame. What would it be like to function from the entirety of your existence? What if you included all of you in the creation of your life, the strange, the wonderful, and everything in between, with no expectation that it makes any sense? Keisha Clark invites you to Living Beyond Linear Radio Show, an exploration of what is beyond logical and explainable that actually empowers each of us to be creating, living, and loving our lives. Join in the adventures every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Mountain, and 8 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You are listening to the Open Mic Spotlight Show here on Inspired Choices Network. To call in and ask questions, call 815-880-8255 in the U.S. 613-800-8736 in Canada, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. Now back to the show. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a wonderful guest, Keisha Clark, joining me, and we're learning all about Keisha. So we went into an interesting area of conversation when we um, before the break, and we learned about where Keisha grew up. Keisha, let's move forward now to um, to your life about, I'm going to say, you know, shortly after you got this realization of, of where you actually grew up and what was actually going on in your world um, that you didn't cognitively know about. So so now you have this realization, right? And And now what? Now where does this take you? There was a lot of, um, oh, that makes sense now, kind of, you know, that went on the first, I don't know, initially. Um, and as I was, uh, it, well, this was around the time that I was also really shifting, there was a lot shifting in my life. Um, and I was choosing into more of the the healing arts and the, you know, personal development field. and. Yes. I saw also the this uh, kind of the beauty of my this arrangement that I lived in, which was I also had uh, even you know against the sort of backdrop of this the energy of what was going on in this area that I lived in. Um, I had the good fortune <laughs> of having um, relatives that lived literally one block away from where I grew up. And on the same street, and so that it was the house where my great great aunt and uncle were, and my uncle um, was with us until I was around, I think I was seven when he passed away, and then my aunt was with us for another like fifteen, sixteen years, and um, it was really an amazing thing to look at, my aunt and uncle and my mom were kind of like my three parents. My mother was a single parent. And so there was my brother and I and my mother, and then down the street there was my aunt and uncle. I spent a great deal of time with my aunt and uncle, and then subsequently with my aunt after my uncle was gone. And it it provided such a a really interesting balance for me. It was really kind of a haven or a sanctuary for me to to live there part of the time to get to stay there so much of the time that I that I did. And so when I had this realization or this awareness, we could say, <clears throat> I also had a greater sense of the gift of having my time with my aunt and uncle as well as um just the beauty of the arrangement that 
that my mom and my aunt and uncle that I was able to have with the three of them. Um, right. And through my experiences with my aunt and uncle, now my aunt was a person who allowed me to do anything I wanted to. My uncle allowed me to do anything. And then once he was gone, <clears throat> he set things up to make sure that my aunt was taken care of. And so uh, spending time with her, um, she had her days to herself. You know, she didn't have to to do something in particular. She was able to create the life the way she, she wanted. And we did, we would play church. We would play cooking show. We would play fashion design show. We would play <laughs> <laughs> a movie set. We would play anything and everything I wanted to do. This woman allowed me. To, to play. And that was one of the things that I still draw from today. I mean, I, I know I know so clearly that I, so much of my willingness and my courageousness today came from her willingness to be the space with me that she was and just let me kind of have everything in my imaginative world that I could have. And um, and when I had this awareness, I just got such an appreciation for the way that that was created. And I also, um, not too long after that, with the help of some tools that I dove into, um, was really able to claim, you know, my part in creating that, my part in setting that up, um, my awareness that I chose to come here at the particular linear time that I showed up in this incarnation to spend time with my aunt and uncle as well as my mother. And and the gift of that has just been, it has never stopped giving. <laughs> um, That's amazing. So there was, there was a lightness and there was a whole lot of awareness that started to, that kind of opened the door to me getting to know more of me. And then the awareness as well that it didn't, it didn't stop me, you know, um, nobody i i didn't lose me in you know back in those moments i right when when the tough moments were happening um i got through that and they didn't win you know um right and the fact that i'm here today is you know i'm winning with choosing to be who i be today and right. not letting that have the power over me that's so. that's phenomenal thank Thank you to your aunt and your <laughs> uncle and your mother and, yeah. and you yeah. in, in co-creating all of that. So yeah. Keisha, you've, had, you've had what um, some people would say an unconventional life. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I, I don't know too many people that have a really conventional life, but you've had some interesting right. journey, journeys. And so mm-hmm. tell me, with all of your journeys and with all that you're you know still stepping into, still becoming, what is important to you in the world? Oh gosh, what's important? I, if I were to put that into words, um, it would really. It, it's really that we let ourselves be all of us. What I have become so keenly aware of in my life and especially within these last like five years um, is that we do no one in, we do ourselves and, and no one else any service any type of gift uh, when we are hiding when we are trying to fasten, fashion ourselves in the mold of what people tell us we're supposed to want or do or be and so if I were to put importance on anything, it would really be that we allow ourselves to express all of who we are and that we never allow <laughs> anyone else to have executive say or dominion mm. over us. I like that. Never to let anyone have executive say. Wow, I love that. <laughs> That's yeah. just really, really we, popular. We have those... We have those decision making privileges for ourselves and that that is that's our journey that's our joy that's our discovery that's that's where we find what we're made of and that's where we you know we are our doorway into the universe and and that is 
our launching place. We, right. who we are being, that's our launching place. And if we're not what I'm aware of and what I know and what I've seen time and time again, because <laughs> I've also experienced it myself, when we're not really being us, when we're not really looking for and allowing ourselves to have that exploration, that discovery, um, we're we're not living. That's not living. You know, that's not being alive on this planet. Uh-huh. You look around at everything this planet examples for us, every life form on this planet examples for us the the invitation and the the example of really mm-hmm. living full out. And if we are the only ones that can really choose to not do that. And it's to me, that's what's important, is that we do choose that, that we that we be this magic that we are, that we be this incredible, unstoppable, immeasurable, I, I want to say the word force, not not as in force, you know. Push, yeah. To push, but the the magic and the magnitude of the possibility of us is is just, it's unimaginable, really. Because it's really yeah. that much, and if we're not choosing that, what what are we doing? You know, really. <laughs> well, I you know I totally get what you say you're saying, and I know for you and for me, we didn't always choose that. There, it didn't feel mm-hmm. safe. It that we didn't have oh, the yeah. we didn't have the cognitive knowledge of how to. Or 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 the, the the recognition of what that even looked like, and yeah. and so you know, knowing today that all of Keisha Clark showing up is the special ingredient that changes the world. Mm-hmm. You you Keisha being all of you, and and I know that over the last two years of of watching and being present with you. Um, during your radio shows and and as you've been guests on other shows, is you have been stepping into just more discovery of you and being more of who you are yeah. in the world, and it, it's phenomenal. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mm-hmm. take a, a jump here and say I don't believe you're gonna ever stop that. No, you, no. <laughs> you know, like, do you think you'll ever get to a place that you're gonna know all of you and that? Okay, we're done. Okay, check that box. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. It's like it's it, – this is where we get tripped up is we think that there's an end to it or we buy the idea that there's an end to us, you know. And mm-hmm. that's part of what I've been discovering, um, and especially these last three years of my life. Um, it's not about finding where the end of us is, you know. Uh-huh. Um and and one of my favorite questions these days is, you know, what if your life is way more than the shortest distance between two points? You know, what if it doesn't matter where we begin and where we end? What if really what the whole thing is is to to explore and keep con- keep discovering the more? You know, mm. the universe has no limit. And so why would we want to limit who we are and how we are and what we are? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we? Great we question. Be. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> don't, don't you don't you find that this reality has exactly Lily? There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Lily agrees. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to put oh. a point on things. <laughs> she does. We appreciate that. Lily is is one oh, of yeah. our greatest teachers here. <laughs> She you, is a, such a magical being. Mm-hmm. Don't you find that a lot of us um, have been taught, well, most of us have been taught to find out who we are, which feels yeah. to me like an ending. Like, they're, okay, exactly. go find out who you are and then step into exactly. it and then and then make your world and then be happy. Yeah. Yeah, it, and, that's the model. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bust that button. And uh, it's a little outdated in my interesting point of view. <laughs> Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. You know, one of my my when living beyond linear when that started to to come through, which was near the end of last year, um, when that showed up, the tagline that showed up with that was "Stop asking your life to make sense," and 
I, there was this enormous, well, of course, I started cracking up again. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> is out there that doesn't know me, I laugh a lot. Um, and it was so perfect for me with, you know, everything that I spent, gosh, more than the first half of my life so far trying to do. Um, it was about identifying me. It was about making me something safe for other people to want to know or play with. And now I've I've totally gotten rid of that. <laughs> so, cuz you know it's 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 like you're saying it's we want I I think there's like this illusion that we're going to be safe in the world or we're going to make it and I'm doing air quotes um if we know who we are in an identifiable way, in a in a way that we can define. And that's something I, I am aware for me drove me absolutely insane is trying to explain myself to anyone else, trying to create my life in a way that it could be explainable to anyone else just simply did not work for me, does not work for me. Um, mm-hmm. And until I was willing to let go of that, my life was not altogether happy. And when I became willing to to choose beyond trying to explain me and trying to create me in a way that, you know, was something other people could understand, again, doing air quotes, um, until I got to that point, I had, a, I had an amazing life. And when I shifted that one element, my life became... It just exponentially greater, and <laughs> the the greater was not necessarily from an immediate like change in my pay grade or tax bracket or anything like that. It, although I'm willing to have that, <laughs> I'm willing yes. for it to contribute to that. And really, the greater in that ten seconds was my my awareness of oh, I don't have to be defined. I don't have to be. I don't have to play this game by their rules. I can actually play this by my rules. And now what are my rules? And what do I desire to be choosing and creating and being that comes naturally to me? Right. And if I stop trying to justify myself, how much more is available to me here? And that's really where I've been living. We have a question in the chat room um, from Eleanor. She says, was that for validation or approval? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I bought hook, line, and sinker, the idea that, you know, people have to like you. Um, and I spent so much of my life and my vitality and my waking hours trying to create me in a way that um, was not intimidating, that people approved of. Because, you know, growing, this, this is one of the things that was – present in my early childhood you know I was in an area that because I looked so different I was on the receiving end of a lot of ridicule and a lot of you know people pointed out quote unquote the wrongness of me because I didn't look like I belong there and um, and so it it makes you kind of nervous you know when you're a little bitty and you you don't really have the ability to like stand up and say hey screw you I'm going to go play in this over here you know you're kind of in some respects you are um, at the effect for a temporary time of mm-hmm. some of their points of view. Um, you know, like when I was in daycare, I couldn't leave the premises. <laughs> right. Um, so so you do kind of, it, it can be very easy to buy the idea that you have to play by their rules. But then we get to this point and validation is no longer really essential, you know. Um, or it doesn't have to be. For a lot of people, it still is. And for me, for a long time, it was. And then I just got to that place that I was like, oh, I don't need you to like me. Wow. And if right. you don't, that's really okay. And and I also stopped making it be, I stopped making their point of view about me be about me. I realized that, that I love right. that saying that, you know, people's judgment of you has nothing to do with you. When I started to really get that, uh, that was another just massive shift in my world. And um, because it, I tried that on for size for a while, but it 
what I noticed was I was trying to do that from uh, separateness rather than an allowance of, oh, you don't like me. Okay, cool. <laughs> you don't have to. Right. You know, I, right. I, at first, my sort of first application of that was like, oh, you don't like me. Okay, middle finger, you know. <laughs> that was in the days I had a right. hawk and stuff. Right, right. But, <laughs> but then it, when, it, when I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that picture. <laughs> That was a short time in my high school days, yeah. I, I was a child of the 80s. We did all these interesting things. <laughs> okay, teacher, we are going to take a second break, and when we get back, uh, we've got some more questions we want to ask you. Cool. Thank you, everyone, for right. joining us. If you would like to ask Keisha a question um, or see the Mohawk picture with me, please come to join us in the chat <laughs> or you, you're welcome to call in and you'll hear the no numbers uh, shortly. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. Do you have something inspiring to say? Would you like a taste of being one of our inspired hosts? Get on the air on the Inspired Choices Network Open Mic Spotlight Show. The Open Mic Spotlight Show is your time to shine and inspire our global audience. Shows air at 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday each week. Claim your spot today. Simply contact our network owner at info at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Forget the days of five minutes of fame. Now you can have 55 minutes of fame. What would it be like to function from the entirety of your existence? What if you included all of you in the creation of your life, the strange, the wonderful, and everything in between, with no expectation that it makes any sense? Keisha Clark invites you to Living Beyond Linear Radio Show, an exploration of what is beyond logical and explainable that actually empowers each of us to be creating, living, and loving our lives. Join in the adventures every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Mountain, and 8 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You are listening to the Open Mic Spotlight Show here on Inspired Choices Network. To call in and ask questions, call 815-880-8255 in the U.S., 613-800-8736 in Canada, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. Now back to the show. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, with Keisha Clark, formerly known as Mohawk Girl. <laughs> I am so happy to have you here with us today, Keisha. <laughs> Oh, my God, that visual in my mind is just so wonderful. You can't even know. That's just woken me up on a new level right now. I was very expressive. Very awesome. You know, what I'm really getting from our conversation today is how how you have discovered that we can literally become ourselves in each moment um, of mm. of our lives that we really and I know we use this word a, word a lot but we really can create ourselves. Um, it mm -hmm. the choice really the power the potency is completely and totally in our hands and yet we're told the opposite um, our whole lives. Yeah. Uh, th this yeah. reality this world is just continuously in that. Keisha, yeah. if there was one You're message, so beautifully. thank you, <laughs> thank you, um, Keisha, if there was one message that you wanted to bring to the world in 2017, if there was one thing that that you could be out there kind of inviting people to taste in their lives, in their their relationships, in their what what it is that they choose to do in the world and be in the world. What would that one message be? Wow, what's really popping is the, I, I mentioned it earlier, it, it, it's been just huge for me, and it seems to be my 2017 uh, thing, <laughs> is um, to, to stop asking your life to make sense. It, when you're trying to make it make sense, you're, you're actually taking yourself out of, the possibilities and out of 
the energy that you will actually um, be able to have your awareness. Um, it's 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 not so much of our life actually does not show up in a linear, digestible, um, understandable <laughs> way. Um, and for me, where my work comes in, really, and my play, this is like this is my life now, is um, there is so much more than what we see with our eyes, and we learn largely to misidentify or misinterpret so much of the energy of our lives um, when we are willing to step out of what we learned in the linear aspect and really tap into what we know beyond our cognitive knowing. So I'm saying no with a capital K. Um, the things that become available to us are really indescribable and they don't make sense. And yet they bring us this, Incre they can and often do bring us this incredible sense of, oh, yes, that's it. It's like you don't, you know, what if you don't have to know how to explain your life? And what if explaining it isn't the point? What if understanding it isn't the point? But and Keisha, that's really been my big thing. Mm -hmm. if, I can't, if I can't explain who I am, how can people, <laughs> how can people be friends with me? How can people hire me? Right? How, how can people, like... Find me. How 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 are I people know. gonna know? It's crazy, that isn't they, it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> what do I do with that? Yeah. Well, who are you asking to find you? And and who are you trying to be that is actually not who you truly are? That isn't actually that actually has nothing to do with the people you think it does. <laughs> and that's one of the things that Mind we trip twist. ourselves up with. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so, you know. So if you're someone yeah. who is, you know how much I love business. So if you're someone who is mm -hmm. in business or, or wanting to go into business, right? And people mm -hmm. say to you, what do you do? Right? I know. How do, how do, we, how do we deliver that information so it may be an invitation for them to work with us without, mm -hmm. without, I'm going to say, over-defining ourselves. Yeah. And this is part of the, the I love irony, in case I hadn't said that yet. Um, <laughs> this is part of the beauty and the irony that I'm finding is, is when you stop trying to explain yourself or stop trying to, to define yourself, there's this really interesting thing that shows up. You develop these abilities to say what is required. You develop these aware. You're you're kind of honing your awareness, and you're able to say what is appropriate in the moment. And part of letting go of the need to explain yourself is letting go of the need to limit yourself to one thing that you do. So yeah, you like I know you, Christine, are in business a lot of different kinds of business, and. What if, depending on who you're talking to, um, you know, who you are as uh, a facilitator is what is really popping, you know, when they ask you that question. So your awareness, if you follow your awareness and you follow that energy, you talk about being a facilitator. You talk about being a coach. But then other people, they may, like, think life coaches are shit and full of, you know, ridiculousness. And so you following your awareness, you may tap into, oh, well, they can receive that I'm a, a business advisor, you know, a business consultant. So it's like, what if you were willing to describe yourself in 10 different ways to 10 different people? Okay, cool. right. And, and none right. of that has to mean that you're not anything that you actually are. It's just a different way of presenting yourself. And I get, right. you know. That's a slightly different conversation in the whole business arena, you know, when you there's branding and there's all of that, and I totally get that. And um, part of how we make ourselves insane is trying to keep ourselves in a really neat, tidy, explainable box. Mm. And I'm all about getting outside of your box. Way, way, way. <laughs> outside. <laughs> well, you know, so. I think what you've shown, what you've been demonstrating over the last two years for sure is that there's 
when when you let the walls of of definition down, when you when you just let them go, you you start mm-hmm. to discover more that that's fun for you, that's enjoyable, that's joyful, and mm-hmm. and more that's available to you to receive. So yeah. so you know, and that's huge. Like. A, a few years ago, when this really cracked open for me, the thing that I could not have said at that point, which I can say today, is the receiving part is immense in all of this. And it really, what I find consistently exampled to me and what is consistently my experience personally, is receiving me, receiving the more of me is really this pivotal thing that if we're willing to choose, I could say until and unless <laughs> we're willing to choose or be an allowance of, there, it's it's just like you can't really know you um, if you're not willing to receive you. And hmm. before you can receive anything else, if you're not willing to receive you, you you're not really able to receive anything else. And and that okay. kind of circles back into you are the doorway to the universe. You are your doorway right. to the universe. And it's amazing. I love, I that's love that. really huge. That, <laughs> that is really huge. Like I've heard it said a thousand different ways. And there's something about what you just said that just has expanded more of that. <laughs> it, that's phenomenal. Okay, Keisha, Thank we you. are Thank you we, this 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 conversation went quite quickly and we are closing in <laughs> on the the conclusion <laughs> of the, the our journey into more about Keisha Clark. Uh, <laughs> before we do that though, I would love for you to to tell all of our listeners what is your radio show all about and um mm. without defining it to finiteness. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch what I'm asking. And um, <laughs> can you also share with us what you're creating in the world and what invitations you have for people out there to to work and play with you? Yeah. yeah, happily. And thank you so much for the invitation to these conversations. I'm loving what they're creating. I, I have the privilege of getting to be on the production end of many of them, and I'm just it, – it's just so fun. And it for me, it, this has been – so cool to like really get to know more of me. So thank you for this. Firstly, you're welcome. Um, yeah. And thank you for being the one who brought Inspired Choices Network to the world, and who is bringing Inspired Choices Network to the world. I just want to acknowledge. I'm amazed and inspired and loving. Um, gosh, we have an amazing family of hosts, and it is a privilege and an honor to be a part of this. So thank you for for that hmm. too. And I laugh every time I remember our conversation in Denver. Um, <laughs> when I said to you, "Well, I don't think I, I don't, I don't get really radio show host. I don't know if that's something I'm going to be doing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't always and believe within, your like, own Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Yes, I. you can find me. The easiest way to find me right now is if you go to my Facebook page, at Living Beyond Linear, and Linear is L-I-N-E-A-R. Um, and the show is actually, we're building on what the previous show, the, the name of my show up until this year, was Living Well. And we were initially exploring all things related to the willingness to embody abundant living. And when I kept tapping into this abundance thing, um, I was really getting the abundance of possibilities, the abundance of ways to express in the world and and ex- experiences you can have, just adventures you can have in the world. And then um, in the course of my two years doing Living Well, uh, what really started to pop for me too was to share more of my intuitive uh, mediumship and facilitation with the world, which I started doing. And that kind of opened the door to Living Beyond Linear, which um, the tagline is, stop asking your life to make sense. And um, one of the primary questions is, what if your life is more than the shortest distance between two points? And so we're playing with all the things outside of and beyond 
the conventional, explainable, logical uh, application of living that actually, even though they might not have human words, they're actually the required energies, they're the required elements for us to actually have the life we know is possible and that we in many cases so desire. Whether we've put a word or a name to it yet or not doesn't really matter. It's us finding and discovering and really claiming in many cases um, that which is beyond definition we've tried to uphold, that if we're willing to play with it, will take us to so many amazing places and so much more of what is possible for us. And mm. that's what we're playing with on the show. And um, I'm I'm just loving what's showing up. I'm loving what's being created. And for February, part of my fun thing, because I was gone for a little while when I was over the end of the year and beginning of the 2017, I was <laughs> having moving adventures, which we don't have to go into. Um, so what I'm doing now is February, the entire month, I'm doing uh, Pay What You Choose. And it's a 30-minute session with me for whatever you choose to pay. Uh, I'm just It was something that showed up, and it was really light. And I was like, okay, that would be fun. I want to talk to people. I want to play more with people. I want to uh, – I'm just ready to, like, tap in and turn on and go more. And I that's my invitation to people um, who might not have played with me, or if you have, it doesn't matter um, – in either case, my invitation is to just come play, pay what you choose for the month of February. Um, wow. And the way you can find out more is to email me at Keisha at livingbeyondlinear.com, and I'll send you the details. So okay. um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And then I've got some things in the work. There's, uh, there's, some, uh, there's some music coming, and there's some interesting what? stuff being Wait a okay, in development. <laughs> Hold on, sister. Hold on. You're not jumping over music. I still have enough time to ask you. Tell us in one minute about music with Keisha Clark. Well, I, um, well what I can tell you, <laughs> what I can tell you is uh, there is there is there are several projects that are in motion right now that are on my docket, and one of them is just I think days from coming to fruition, and so I I, I have have it on pretty good authority that there will be uh, the first song um, will be ready and we're going to release it as a single and it'll be um, able to be purchased and downloaded digitally. And uh, it's, it's inspired by my kind of my whole experience that we've been talking to, about today um, in a, you know, in a song as much as you can put in a song. And, um, and just my my really when I came into uh, the the work of access consciousness and what it created for me um, in my life uh, it it inspired uh, this song and interestingly enough the it was finished very shortly the words were finished very shortly after our time in Denver after that class that we met at in Denver really and uh, then it's just been a process of getting to the point of my willingness to say yes to more. And uh, allowing the the people to show up who um, who wanted to play with this and co-create with me and help it come into the world. So it's it's almost ready to be born, and I'm so excited! Oh I can't gosh. even stand it. I and then there's more wait. coming. So yeah, <laughs> that is phenomenal. Now, Keisha, your website is livingbeyondlinear.com. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yes, and it will be live and- very soon. <laughs> So. Awesome, and you're Mostly. also on Facebook, uh, Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Not LinkedIn yet. Um, I'm still working. I'm still adding those. You know, the 21st century thing. I'm I'm a little slow to that, but <laughs> okay. Well, you know, what? I got you the energy part. It's the technology. You can, yeah, you can always find Keisha <laughs> here on the Inspired Choices Network Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Keisha, for all that you're being and learning about you and continuing to choose it. Have an amazing week, everyone. Stay tuned. We will be back shortly with another amazing guest. Thank you for listening to the Open Mic Spotlight (laughs) Radio Show. We will be here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Mountain, and 6 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, continue to create you with joy and inspiration.